In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the new moon in Libra that we're having on October 16th, which is this Friday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about this new moon we're having on October 16th, Friday. It's a new moon in Libra for all my fellow Libras. My birthday just passed. If you guys have a birthday this month, happy birthday. And if you have one coming up, I feel like there's a lot of good energy for the people whose birthdays are coming up. So happy early birthday to you. But so I do have my notes here. I will be referring back so that I don't miss anything, but let's get into it. What is this new moon in Libra gonna be bringing to us? The first thing I wanna talk about is relationships. Libra is all about balance. Libra is all about patience and like being able to juggle two things at once, like just balance, harmonizing and alignment. That, that's a lot of the Libra energy. So in a lot of your relationships, you might notice where you need to find more peace in the relationship, more harmony, um, and where that peace and harmony may be disrupted and by what or by who. Um, so that's something that may be coming up in a lot of you guys' lives. Basically, there's this like realignment or restructuring, redoing the energy in your relationships. It's finding balance and peace and harmony in your relationships. There's going to be a lot of clearing away blocks, um, obstacles, you know, things that were just keeping the relationship stuck. So that's another thing that a lot of you may have to look forward to. A lot of you are going to be seeing what's working in the relationship what's not working, and this could be any relationship in your life, it doesn't really have to be a romantic one or a love one. It could be the relationships that are closest to you that just need um, just a little redoing, you know? For a lot of you that are in relationships and you live with your partner, there may be a lot of like restructuring your daily routines, um, you know, finding what works and what doesn't work and tossing what doesn't work, maybe incorporating new routines into your relationship. So pay attention to the things that go on in your relationship. There may be changes coming, um, but the changes are good. It's to realign everything. It's to make sure everything is in balance and harmony inside your relationships. The second thing I want to talk about is alignment and balance within yourself. Your relationship with yourself. How aligned is it? How balanced is it? Is it like chaotic? Is it peaceful? Is it tranquil? Is it all over the place? Is it stressful? So I think a lot of you are going to be asking yourself that and also becoming aware of what your relationship with yourself actually is. How do you talk to yourself? Um, how are you with yourself when you're alone? The things, the emotions, habits, job, whatever it is that is keeping your life and your energy off balance, those are going to be rearranging themselves around this new moon time to balance themselves out again. So if you feel something, if you, there's something you want to talk about, something comes up, pay attention to it, become aware of it and process through it. You know, um, reach out to somebody if you need to, but don't suppress it. Don't hold it in because when you do, it'll come back up just because you suppress something and your life goes back to normal. It'll come back up like it'll come back up and it will keep coming back up until you deal with it. You also might find yourself rethinking the roles in your relationship. What role do you play in the relationships in your life? What role do you play in your workplace? Like rethinking, reevaluating your role and how it's aligning or misaligning. You're balancing your own scales this new moon. And whether that means that you're taking your power back in certain areas or it could also mean for a lot of you releasing control in a lot of areas. So depending on what it is that you need what, to feel more balanced, that's what's going to be going on with this new moon in Libra for you too. The third thing we should know about this Libra new moon is conversations. Deep conversations. Open, harmonious, understanding, compassionate, just enriching talks. And it, I, what I keep getting is like before, if you were ha to have this conversation, you would get anxious or easily triggered or mad or defensive. But this time you're able to approach that same conversation different, more patience, more understanding. You're approaching that conversation this time really truly listening, you know, not just reacting to everything, but listening. 
A lot of you are going to rethink and relearn how to conversate and communicate um, and how you react to con certain conversations. The fourth thing we should know, this is all about that Libra energy, which is patience. Libras are very patient. And so there are two, two things could happen. One, you could need more patience and your patience may be getting tested. And that's just because the universe is saying, hey, you want your life to look a certain way. We need to teach you this. And one of these things is patience. So your patience might get tested. And a lot of you, it could be the opposite. It could be that you find yourself just more patient. And that's because that's the way the Libra new moon would affect you is you just feel more patient. If you find yourself feeling more patient, more understanding, more compassionate, then you're really tapping into that new moon energy. If you find yourself um, getting irritated really quickly, you lose your patience and stuff like that, then that, that's a sign right there that you're not aligned and you need to work on your patience to get more aligned, to get more on a good vibration so you can manifest everything that you want to. A really, really good time to do rituals on inner peace, mental clarity, harmony, reconciliation, um, you know, uh, communication, stuff like that, where it's just bringing balance and alignment back into a relationship, a job, a house, yourself. This is a perfect time to do your rituals and spells regarding all of that. And the fifth thing, the last thing we should know is that the new moon affects our chakras, which are energy wheels throughout the body. The main seven ones. Um, the one that's going to be affected the most this time is our root chakra, which is the lower chakra, everything down there, which governs our security, our safety, finances, you know, our foundation, our home, domestic life, uh, how safe you feel, you know, um, the area between your legs, like your feet, um, your thighs, all of that stuff. They may be sensitive, pay extra attention, take extra care of it, um, and also veins and skin, make sure you're treating it you know, your skin really good around this new moon time too. You may notice like dry skin, um, stuff like that. So be mindful of your skin and your lower root chakra. So these are five things we should know about this new moon in Libra that we're having. I hope you guys are enjoying your week so far. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.